trying to break in my house. Either way, I had to go check it out. Okay. All right. Let's go. To Shut up. All right. Let's go see. Let's go to Cora's den. Yeah, I'll go handle them after I go get some more Paragon. What's my Paragon right now? Uh, not good enough. Well, I mean, the charm is up. Mm, nah, I'll come back to them later. Let's get some action. To me, the start of Mass Effect, well, at least the Citadel part, is kind of like the start of Kingdom Hearts 2. How you holding up, Lieutenant? Not too bad. No headaches worth mentioning lately. Maybe I'm getting used to the strain. Maybe you've just got a good stress release. I know that knocking the geth on their synthetic asses gets rid of my headaches. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like the start of Kingdom Hearts 2, where it's like, very boring, but there's always something to do. It's like you have to go through all the bullshit in order to become something great. This game is still good, it's very entertaining, but the Citadel part's a little repetitive. At least you get to know people. It's setting everything up for the future. No one there, no one there. Do you really think we'll find him down here? He always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. Fist is going to be pissed if we take down his supplier. That's the point. We want him angry. Angry people make mistakes. That's true. Control your emotions. All it takes is one angry person and just... Just snap! And then before you know what you're doing, 20 to life. Just because you couldn't control your emotions. Oh my god. Another elevator? No, right? Didn't I just... I didn't just come this way. No. I'm... I'm bugging. Hold on, hold on. Because it wouldn't make sense to take two elevators to get somewhere. No, I think I... No, I definitely can't... Okay, I came from that way. That's stupid. A lot of traffic here. How fast do you think those cars are going? <laughs> I don't remember ever taking two elevators. I think I messed up. I think I could have just went through the doors. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Oh, I hope I didn't mess up. I really hope I didn't mess up. I think I just had to go right through the doors. This is weird. I don't remember any of this. This is so weird. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening right now. Oh well. I always get nervous when that happens. Loading screens, don't know what the hell's about to happen. Hello there, welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have, you will see. <laughs> I 
goodness, this death stare that Shepard is giving is crazy. Uh, no. Hello there. Welcome to Morland's famous shop. Oh, you will be pleased. He's like, I don't have any time for your bullshit. Metagel, yes. And a license. I think the licenses are so I can buy some stuff from the ship. Although it costs a little bit more money. I would go back to see where I went wrong, but it's just not worth it. Is that really? Wow! It's you. It's me. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> well, what can I say? <laughs> I spend most of the time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, uh, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? <laughs> Anything for a fan. Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again. <laughs> buy me one now. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will. Okay, perfect. I think I see what I need. Ah, oh, so much. Uh... Damn. How come I can't get this now? Oh well. I'll just get the license. Yeah, too much money for a lot of these things. Just too much right now. I don't think you bought this here. I don't sell this mod. Look, I know it was you. I remember you. <laughs> really, that's impressive. Damn right. that frame Commander right Shepherd? excuse me Commander Shepherd I'm Emily Wong I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel could I have a moment of your time what do you need I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel but there are places I can't go I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation I can make it worth your time sounds like a good cause if I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. No, come back. I think I had information. Oh, come on. track everyone coming and going this makes jump zero look like a portage on and it's the largest deep space station the alliance has jump zero is big but this is a whole nother scale look at the ward arms how do they keep all that mass from flying apart the council represents more races than i thought no wonder they're careful with newcomers they probably just want to keep everything running it has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. If you expect to get me in a tinfoil miniskirt and thigh-high boots, I want dinner first. Hey. Sir. That will be enough, Chief. At ease, Lieutenant. Can't see her in a skirt anyway. Damn straight, you can't. Ready to move out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks like Ashley has a little crush on Big Shep. 
Officer Lang. Is there someone I can talk to? I just seen Officer Lang. I know I'm not going crazy. Maybe I am going crazy. Ah. Keeper. Boom. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I was on Mindwar during the Blitz. Saw you on the vids when you got your medal. You saved the whole colony. <laughs> well. Looks like you have a fan. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang. Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. I mean, there's really not much to talk to him about. Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. That's cool. Uh, I guess the Citadel. How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Yep, I definitely messed up. Okay, I guess we can go to Korra's den. See what's in store for us at Korra's den. I call it link missions. It's like you have to do one thing to get to another thing to do another thing. Shira, I have to talk to her. Then after I talk to her, well, no, I have to go talk to, was it not Harkin? Yeah, I think Harkin. I have to talk to somebody over here. And then after that, I can go talk to, all right. Oh, you want to play? Oh, you want to play? Okay, everyone get ready. All right, hold. Oh, shit. Damn. Fucking asshole. Okay, you thought you were good? You thought... Come here. Go, 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 go. Go over there. No. Go over there. All right. Since you want to play around, you want to hide your little face? Get ready to say goodbye to something. Yeah, get your ass out of here. Ah! Ah! Yeah, keep him distracted. Keep him distracted. Uh. Damn, who died? Both of y'all died? All right, I got you, though. Uh. All right. All right, all right. Shields down. Shit. Got him, I think. Gotta get up in his face. Come on, come on, come on. I can't believe both of these two jerks are down. Ah! Okay. Okay. Ah! Oh shit, oh shit. Really? I'm ready. Oh, I should have. I don't know why I didn't use my meta gel. Ugh, whatever. <sighs> that was bad. 
That was bad. I have, have a better strategy when doing that. I'm not in the mood for strippers right now. I got business here, but not with you. Not now. Watch the show. Ah, General Septus. That's what I have to talk to. Commander. What do you want? Ooh. What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies? Oh, come on. Because she rejected me. Me, Septimus Araka, general of the Turian fleet. I think I can see why you're upset, but spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? Huh? No. Those days are over. I'll just be what I am. A tired, lonely, worn-out soldier. Do you really want to be remembered this way? No, I'd rather not be remembered at all. But I see your point. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and... Act like a general? I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Oh, man. Why does he think that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think you'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to, and where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Hard to imagine a general like that getting so upset about a woman. But that's because you don't understand what Oh, I'm mad I did not get any Paragon for that. I'm actually really upset. Hey, I should upgrade that. Fizz told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. military <laughs> I could have been a marine you know instead I joined the goddamn Citadel security biggest mistake of my life Harkin right I was told you could help me find someone a Turian CSEC officer named Garrus Garrus <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down eh? I know where Garrus is but you gotta tell me something first did the captain let you in on his big secret is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. 
screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Damn. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Why'd they kick him out? Have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. That it's a good story, though. The heroes fall. Classic tragedy. <laughs> you said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. Um. Hero. Just noticed that now, did you? Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink in peace. What a dick. No big deal. Secrets are secrets, and everyone's supposed to know. All right, so that's why do some doors open automatically, and the other ones just, you know what? No big deal. Secrets are secrets, though. Can't be mad at the man for telling, you know, keeping a secret. We all have secrets. I think it's a Japanese expression that we all have three faces. One face we show to the public. The other face we show to our people, to our family, and the one face and the last face is the face we only know. So we all have secrets and we're all different. So try not to judge. That was my inspirational message for the day. And that's all you'll get out of me. Oof, choppy, 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 choppy. Okay, let's see what's in here. Yep, mid clinic. Uh oh. It's about to go down. <laughs> 